from Tenke Fungurumu Mine in the Katanga, sitting on a matrix which is sort of a grey to a dark brown to grey to blackish. We have this section, but now the main point of focus is of course this lovely section over here. And this one is a little bit different to ones I've offered previously. If you look behind the little labethanite crystals, you'll see what appears to be almost a botryoidal uh, 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 formation sitting behind. Now on, on first glance, I, I think in terms of pseudomalachite, but typical associations on this material would have been calcite and specular hematite. So in this case, we may have either little uh, acicular uh, uh, balls of uh, specularite or specular hematite, or alternatively hematite going into girthite or more botryoidal form of the hematite. From a display point of view, I find this angle quite appealing. Just go a bit deeper in there. See those little botroids, almost botryoidal. I think if you zoom into the still pictures, you'll you'll see these. Now, uh, very, very difficult to photograph this particular material. But what, what does come to mind here, and when you look at the specimen in hand, is that these little uh, green labethanite crystals actually jump out from their, their matrix. They really, even though the specimen itself is rather dark, these... These uh, little uh, uh, green labethanites are, are almost like little lights in this, in, on this dark, dark matrix. Lovely piece. There you can clearly see the pyramidal form of the labethanite. Of course, uh, uh, quite a rare mineral. Um, this would be from the Tenke Fungurumu mine. Quite abstract, actually, to this mine because the matrix is totally different. But it would have come out of a section. I'd imagine the mining would have moved away from there. Of course, product of expensive mining uh, because there's not a lot of copper content, I imagine, in this section. Not very heavy either.